November 7th, 2018 in Thousand Oaks, California. A man goes into the Borderline Bar and Grill and opens fire on approximately 260 people. Now, I found about 100 Namamon calls that were made that night, but I'm only gonna include 19 of them. And yes, I did listen to all of them, but I'm only gonna include the ones that I think kind of explain what was going on at that time. I will be posting all of the calls on my Patreon if you want to listen to all of them. Anyway, let's take a listen to the calls. No one that's just reporting. Yeah, I heard some gunshot on uh, Borderline. Borderline, you heard gunshot? Yeah. You want a second while I get the call started? Okay, how many gunshots did you hear? Uh, well, it was like, like six or eight. We have a lot of callers in. Is this something that you're seeing or just heard? I just heard. I moved away from the, from the parking lot. Gotcha. Can I get your name? Oh, there's still, there's still some gone shots, man. I know. I hear you. What's your name? See anybody, or did you just hear it? No. Okay. No, wait, I, I just heard okay, it. Okay, let, let me put you on a hold. We have a lot of people calling it. Hold on a second. Okay. Yes, yeah, right. Okay, give me one second, okay? And can you spell me your last name for me, please? Okay. Do you still hear the gunshots? Well, I'm moving away, man. Okay. I'm just, okay. I got you. All right. We got other callers coming in. We have help on the way. Thank you. All right. No problem. Okay. Sammy, what are you reporting? Oh, my God. Border line bar and grill. There's been, well, I don't know exactly what's going on. Guys, be careful. What is it? What are you reporting? I see. Please, close. A shooting. There's a shooting at Border line. Is anybody injured? I don't know. We're hiding. The guy's probably still here. How many people? Do you see the person with the gun? I don't know. I can't see anything. I'm up in the attic. Hold on one sec. No one emergency. This is Jessica. What are you reporting? Hi, I'm at Borderline. There's a shot fired right now. Okay, who did you see who shot the gun? Yes. Who? Looks like a male white with a hat. Okay, what kind of gun was it? He shot about eight times. Uh, looks like a black semi autic handgun. He's still shooting. Okay. Shooting in progress. Where, where is he at at borderline? He's inside the fucking bar. I understand that. Do you see? Is he at the bar? Where specifically? The the front. Okay. What is he wearing? Uh, I'm outside now, so I can't see. Okay. You said that he had a. Oh, hat. He's wearing a hat. Okay, like a cowboy hat or a yeah. baseball hat. Baseball hat. Okay. Do you remember what color shirt he was wearing? Hey, anyone see what color shirt he was wearing? What color shirt was he wearing? I don't know, unfortunately. I kind of just posted it. That's okay. Can I get your name? He's, no, I'm not injured. But we're going to need already to stand by. Yeah, I, so fully, I fully understand wearing. what you guys need. I don't need you to tell me. I just need you to say, like, okay, are, there, are there injured people? Are, there out, are they outside or still inside? I'm outside right now. He's still shooting. I understand he's still shooting. Can you say approximately how many shots you've heard? Uh, at least 10. Okay. It's smoke in the building, so I can't see inside now. Okay. I didn't say, say as safe as you can, okay? We do have help on the way. Yep. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. 911, what are you reporting? Uh, there's been a shooting at Borderline in Dawson Oaks. We have help on the way out there. Did you see it happen? It's still happening. Are they inside? They're inside and now they're coming outside. Okay, can you see what, are you outside safe? I'm outside, I'm outside, I'm in my car. We're driving away, but okay. so many people are running. Okay, we have help on the way out there. Did you see what the guy looked like that had the gun? Was he white, Hispanic? How old was he? No, ma'am. He was just at the front, and he's still at us. Okay. What kind of gun was it? Was it an automatic? 
I think, yeah, I think it was an automatic. What was your name? Okay, was he shooting at a lot of people or just one person? Everybody, everybody that he could, I think. Thanks for calling me. I'm help on the way out there. Yes, sir. Bye. 911 emergency. Is Timmy, what are you reporting? <laughs> do you see who has the gun? I do not see him. Okay, do you know if anybody's been injured? No, I don't know. Hold on one second. 911, this is Christy. What are you reporting? Yeah, I was going towards the borderline was in Belgium. We have help on the way out there right now. Did you see it happen? Okay. You need a lot. You need a lot. We have a lot going. Did you see it happen? Is okay, he still there? Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Hello? What's up? Is he still there? Yeah, there's guns are still inside. I've been I've been hit. I'm bleeding everywhere. People are running everywhere. My friends are inside. It's okay, we good. we have help. Are you are still going? Okay, we we're sending ambulances. Where are you gonna be? I'm gonna be at the front of the exit. Like in the front of the, uh, the, I'm gonna be at the front of the uh, entry. So okay, did that, you see that? Did you see what the man looked like that was shooting? Like how old he looked or anything? I saw a gun. He was middle aged man. Middle aged. I saw a gun. Okay. Yeah, saw did a you gun. tell if he was white or Hispanic or black? He was white. He was white in a black shirt. Okay. And was he? Did it was it a big gun or like a handgun? It was a handgun. A small pistol. Okay, and he was the only one shooting? Trust me. Can I do what trust me do? What's up? Was he the only one shooting, or is there more than one shooting? Yeah, I only heard, I only heard one gun going. Okay, what was your name, sir? Okay, we have deputies on the way over there, okay? Yeah, I'm just bleeding. Can you just fix okay, we, ha we have ambulances coming out there, too, okay? Awesome. Okay, thank, thank you. you. So Bye. Emergency, Timmy, what are you reporting? There's a shooting at Borderline right now. Borderline Grill in Thousand Oaks. Okay, and do you see There's the person who's shooting? No, we we didn't see who was shooting. Somebody. Okay, what's your name? name? You, need, you need to get caught. Coming there, lights and sirens. Do you have? Do you know if anybody's injured? Yeah, there was uh, the security guard was dead. The two people working at the there was two people dead. How do you know they're dead? Well, they're down. They got shot. They're down. And you said two other people? Are they outside or inside? They were inside. Okay. And did you see who was shooting? Huh? Did you see who was shooting? No, I didn't see Okay, hold on one second. Nine one emergency. How can I help you? Hey. We got a shooting at Borderline. Okay, take Border it easy. Grill, take it, Park. Sir, take a deep breath. You're in Thousand Oaks. You're not at Moore Park. Did you see the person that was doing the shooting? Oh, Thousand It is one. It's a single gunman and he has okay. either a 9 millimeter or a What is he wearing? Single gunman. What is he wearing? He's wearing a black hat, black hoodie. It looks like black pants. Okay. Is it a baseball cap or a cowboy hat? He just walked in. I saw it happen. He just okay. walked in and shot okay. the person that sir, was on deck. Sir, I, sir I need you to focus on my question, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. That's okay. So he shot the person at the front. Did you see anybody else that got shot? I did not. Okay. Could you tell There's us? There's multiple, multiple gunshots. I, I, I understand. Uh, sir, sir, gunshot. again, concentrate on my voice and my questions, okay? I know that people are being, have been shot, and I've heard that he's still shooting. Can I get your name? Your last name? Okay, what is the phone number for you? Slower, slower, please. Police on site. I understand. What is the phone number? Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for holding. How can I help you? I'm still waiting for people. Okay. Are you are you in the bar? I'm not in the bar. I'm hiding in the bathroom. Okay, but you're you're still in the business of borderline, correct? I am. Okay. What is your name? Are you injured? I'm not injured. Okay. Are you with anybody that's injured in the bathroom? Nobody in the bathroom is injured. Okay. How many people would you say are in the bathroom with you? Okay. Seven people? Are they all females or multiple males and females? We have males and females. Okay. And you're in the female bathroom, right? I, are we in the female or male bathroom? Or I think we're in the female bathroom. 
Okay. That's okay. I'm, then I'll just put the you guys are in the bathroom, okay? Okay, thank you. Did you happen to see the shooter? I did not. Okay. So we just so you you know, we do have multiple deputies on scene and they're trying to secure the scene. Do you still hear shots being fired? I no longer hear shots being fired. If I'm a, on hold for, oh, okay, somebody got the other line. Give me one second, okay? I'm gonna come back to you. Okay. Okay, don't go anywhere. You're doing a great job. Just tell everybody, let, let whoever else know in the bathroom that there are deputies there and they're just, they're trying to get the situation under control before they come and contact you, okay? Okay. They're shooting again? Okay, on my, on my voice, okay? Concentrate on my voice. You're, we have ambulances out there. Just let me know if anything changes from where you are in the bathroom, okay? Okay. Okay. I have to call the fire department. Hold on one second, okay? Hi, Blake. It's Jessica. I just want to. I'm not a lot. Uh, multiple victims down. You guys saw shots fired to the rear. Yeah, and they just want to make sure you have several ambulances coming, which I'm sure you do. Uh, we have. If they can get a, a deputy kit on get a good count, total count, that'd be helpful. But we have multiple ambulances going. So so far, we have five. We possibly have another one that's at a door on Foxridge. Um, I'm on the phone with somebody who's locked in a bathroom. They say that they don't have anybody shot in one of the bathrooms, but we don't know. We don't have anybody inside yet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Still there? I'm still here. Okay. Are you guys still in the bathroom and by just the same seven of you? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing has changed. Anymore. Okay. Are you still hearing the shots being fired? I don't hear them right now. Okay. Okay. So until somebody comes to the door and identifies themselves as being law enforcement, and you can you feel free to ask for a badge number or anything else. Do not open that door, okay? Okay, so I asked for a badge number. You can do that. I'm going to put you on hold one second, okay? Sheriff Office, this is Jessica. How can I help you? Hey, Jessica. It's Highway Patrol. Hi. Um, do you guys have any suspect information on these shooters? And is it an active shooter right now? Um, I'm on the phone with somebody that's in the bathroom, and she's saying that the shots are going and then they're stopping and then they're going and then they're stopping. Okay. So we are working uh, on building, getting the building surrounded still. Right. Okay. And you don't have, you don't have any information on the shooters, right? Uh, where they might be there should, the there should only be one. Um, okay. We've had multiple descriptions. Okay. Um, it's, it's something somewhere along the line of a white male with a black hat. Um, wearing a black hoodie and black pants last I saw, and I think he has facial hair. Black hoodie and black pants? Yes. Okay. But again, it, right. it's very you. So. <laughs> I know. Gotcha. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye bye bye. No one is Mitch, what are you pointing? Hey, I got a, I got a balloon right here. Hey, we're at borderline. So right, we have there. help driving to you. Where are you right now? Yeah, I got a, I got my best friend's fucking shot in the chest. Come on. Where, where are you? And where's the shooter? Borderline. We're right in. We're inside. We're right in front of the garbage can. Okay, the person who was the shooter is he? He's inside or outside? I don't fucking know. Okay. Dude. I, my friend shot. Just send a shitload of people. Everyone. 
Okay. And as far as where's your friend at? Where's he located? Is he inside or outside? Right in front of me. Where? In the parking lot? Right in front. Hold okay, let, let, let me play on a quick hold. We have, hold on one second. I have other 911s. One second. 9 emergency. Sammy, what are you reporting? I'm the borderline. There's a shooter here. Do you see the person? No, I'm upstairs in the, in the bottom. Okay. Do you, do you know if anybody's injured? Yes, he has a gun. He's been shooting. My He's question is, shooter. do you know if anybody is injured? People have to be injured. Okay, your name? There's multiple people here. Okay. And there's just one yeah, shooter? One. I believe so. Maybe. Okay. Two, but I'm not I've got help on the way, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for holding. How can I help you? You're still in the, you're still in the bathroom. Okay. What was your name? Do you hear any other sh gunshots or anything like that? And sorry, I, you're whispering. I understand why. Uh, can you say your first name for me one more time? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put you on hold, okay? Thank you for holding. How can I help you? I'm still waiting at borderline. Okay, and you're still in the bathroom. Are you hearing any shots right now? I'm not hearing any shots. Okay. Okay. We did let the deputies know that you're in the bathroom, okay? They're, um, they're on scene, and they're trying to secure the situation, and assess what's going on, okay? I'm going to keep you on hold for as long as I can, okay? Okay, and we'll come back and check with you. We just have so many calls coming in right now, okay? Okay, thank you. Hold on one second. Okay, and your name? I'm sorry, I already got you. Okay, um, are you hearing anything right now? I'm not hearing anything. Is anybody else in the bathroom with you? Yeah, there's seven of us total. Seven people in the bathroom? Okay. Are they all female? We have male and female. Okay. Okay, like I said, we do have units on scene, okay? I'm going to put you on hold for it, and then I'll come back, okay? 911 emergency, this is Cheryl. What are you reporting? The borderline shooting. There's been another gunshot. Are you inside? Yes, I'm in the You're in the bathroom? Okay, because we have a bunch of deputies, tons of them out there. You said you heard another gunshot? Yeah. Okay. Which bathroom? Is there more than one bathroom? Probably. I don't know. Okay. Hang on one second. Did you happen to see the shooter at all? No. Okay. You're hiding out in the bathroom? Yes. Okay. What is your name? Yes. And what's the last name? Okay, I'll let him know. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the deputies or not, so I'll let him know. Okay. Can you tell? I hear words like demon. You hear what words? Demon. Oh, it might be the deputies. I, and I, can you spell your last thing for me one more time? Are you there by yourself or are you with a friend? No, I'm here with friends. Okay. There's seven total people in the bathroom. There's seven of you in the bathroom? Yes. Okay. And they're right outside the door. Okay, I'm gonna let the deputies know that, okay? Okay. Okay, and they just they just I think they know they're you're in there because they just said that they're gonna have some people shield over there. I think they're clearing the kitchen. They're what? They're clearing the kitchen? Okay. Okay, well, we do have a bunch of tons of deputies there to help you, okay? Okay. Keep yourself safe. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then they're going to try to get to you, but just keep yourself safe until they do, okay? Okay. Okay. If you think of anything else or anything that you think is important, call back if they're able to. Yes, ma'am.
Okay. Oh. Okay. So, a question. Sure. Are they going to try to get into the bathroom because they think there's a shooter? Are they going to try to get into the bathroom because of what? Do you think they'll try to get into the bathroom because we might be the shooter, even though we're not? Like, are they going to try to break down the door? Oh, no, no, no. They're, well, the problem is until they can identify the shooter, you know, they've kind of got to treat everybody as they are the shooter, but they're not going to go firing on anybody or anything. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, okay. Okay, but I let them know that you're in there and that there's seven of you in there. Okay, thank you. Okay, stay safe, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, bye-bye. 911 emergency, the score, what are you reporting? I'm, I'm here at the uh, borderline. Okay. And uh, and so I got I got detained for trying to run in to find my girlfriend. And I'm in the back of a police car. Can someone please get me out of here? You're in the back of a police unit. Yes. Okay. What is your name? I I I, I rush in for my my girlfriend was in the in the bar. They they grab out of the detain. I haven't been able to get a hold of her. And, and you know, they, they, they said they're only until they themselves up, but like, I'm freaking out. I'm just trying to find my girlfriend, to make sure that she's okay. Can you, you have somebody please check on me? Or okay. like, get out of here? Where are you at? Where's the unit parked at? I'm at, I'm at the south entrance of the 101 freeway. Okay, what is your name? What's that? What is your name? I'm sorry, what is it? Okay, and the phone number you're calling from? Okay, are you in handcuffs? Yes. Okay, I'll see who has you. What's that? I said I'll I'll find out who put you in there and see what we can do, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, thank Thank you. you. So according to investigators, at around 11.30 p.m., two California Highway Patrol officers on the traffic stop nearby were alerted to the shooting by people who had managed to escape. Let's take a look. Not 
So they arrive at the bar's parking lot. And about four minutes later, Ventura County Sheriff Sergeant Ron Heles joins them to pursue the shooter. The officers then venture towards the building, but they were met by gunfire. What the officers didn't know is that the shooter had been watching their movements through nine security cameras visible on the monitor in the front office where he had been taking shelter. Sergeant Helis was shot five times by the shooter. He was also accidentally struck by a bullet from the officer's rifle that went through his heart, which caused his death. 20 minutes later after Helis was shot, a SWAT team and other police officers arrived at the scene. See, flashlight, good, that's good. Ours. Have you guys gone to the front of this place we, yet? No, no, we just came from the street. Okay. When I don't know what's happening in the front. Somebody said there's two people down. I don't know if that's true, and I mean CHP officers down. I want one AR to stay here with us, and then the other two, I want to go to the front and make, see if you can make contact with Helis, see if you need anything. Oh, wait, wait. Let's, let's, let's go. We're going. Okay. Side of business, make sure no one else is being fired. Yeah. Units on the west side of Borderline. Units on the west side are Sam 1, 9 Adam, and 9 out of 51. 9 out of 51. I have two units with ARs going towards the front of the building. This is Sam 1, 51 is out of 21. What's that? I was just saying there's a side patio gate right there. All right. And then the so on the south side, we have nine David, nine boy, and CHP, and three David Kinney. We're the north side of the building. I'm sorry? We're the north side of the building, so he says yeah. he has people from the south coming yeah. out. So look, they might be popping out. That one shot. 
So the shooter eventually stopped shooting at police and at victims. Instead, he lit up a firework and threw it out of the bar's front office. 40 seconds later, he threw another firework out of the office. After that, he committed suicide by shooting himself under the chin. 28-year-old Ian David Long was the one that committed the shooting. He was a former machine gunner in the Marine Corps. He took the lives of 12 people, and the weapons he used were owned legally. Well, the gunman has been identified as 28-year-old Ian Long. Investigators say Long used a smoke bomb and a handgun during the attack. Along with the dozen killed, at least 20 others were injured. CBS News correspondent Chris Martinez is outside the bar with the latest. Police with guns drawn surrounded a bar in Thousand Oaks, California, just before midnight as people bloody and hurt ran for their lives. All of a sudden you hear like the, the bang bang of the gunshots and it just started going crazy and people were pushing. We thought it was a joke. Witnesses say the gunman dressed in black shot an unarmed security guard at the front door. Police say 28-year-old Ian Long then sent off a smoke device and fired multiple rounds into the bar, never speaking a word. Hundreds of people fled, some breaking windows and jumping from the second floor to escape. Now, why did David do this? Well, according to the Ventura County Sheriff's Office, they released a 434-page report which detailed the findings of the investigation into Long's actions and motivation. It concluded that Long had held a strong disdain for civilians and anyone not associated with any branch of the U.S. military and that he had suffered from PTSD from his time in the military. However, the Ventura Sheriff stated that the investigation did not show with absolute certainty that a hatred of college students was the motive. Instead, it was more of a working theory. So in other words, they're not exactly sure. Now, who was Ian David Long before the shootings? Now, this is what I found on wikipedia.org. Let's take a look. Long's parents separated and eventually divorced when he was two to three years old. His father died while he was still a child. According to a cousin, it was from cancer. He and his mother moved a lot due to the latter's job, but they eventually settled into nearby Newberry Park. While he previously lived with roommates in Reseda, Long was living with his mother at the time of the shooting. Long's friends said he had been at the bar with them, and some considered him a regular customer. Long attended Newberry Park High School for his junior and senior years. He served in the United States Marine Corps from August 2008 to March. March 2013, reaching the rank of corporal, and he had gone to Afghanistan from November 2010 to June 2011. After being honorably discharged, Long attended California State University Northridge as an athletic training major from 2013 to 2016, but he did not graduate. During this time, he had been involved in a motorcycle accident that left him with a collapsed lung. His motorcycle helmet was cracked, and he was diagnosed with adjustment disorder with mixed anxiety and depressed mood, post-traumatic stress disorder, combat and military operational stress reaction and chronic pain. According to his mother, he had begun to unravel after the incident. Long had two prior contacts with the Ventura County Sheriff's Office, one in 2006 involving a traffic collision and the other in 2015 involving a bar fight. No charges were filed in either incident. Police and the mental health crisis team visited Long in 2017 for his irate and irrational behavior, but they decided not to detain him at a psychiatric facility. A high school teacher raised claims that Long had physically assaulted her as a student, but she was in courage not to push the incident so as not to endanger his future in the Marine Corps. In her statement, the teacher alleged that Long had issues long before his military service. Although he had served overseas in the military, behavioral scientist and clinical psychologist Lisa Jaycox said that it was premature to say whether Long suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder or if it was a factor in the shooting. This is the home in Newbury Park where Ian Long lived with his mother. She purchased this house in 2006. And it is the place federal and local investigators spent hours trying to understand what made him go into the bar last night and open fire. That shadowy figure dressed in black is believed to be Ian Long, captured on cell phone video while he was in the process of slaughtering 12 people inside the Borderline Bar and Grill last night. Here is his photo posted to social media that shows the 28-year-old former combat Marine veteran in uniform. The Marine Corps tells us he was a machine gunner and he served in Afghanistan in 2010 and 2011. 
The Ventura County Sheriff said deputies and mental health experts arrived, spoke to Ian Long, and did not feel he was a danger to himself or to others, so they didn't take him into custody. Today, FBI and local law enforcement investigators spent hours inside the Long home. The FBI special agent in charge of the L.A. office said agents are searching through his digital life as well as his belongings. Ian Long's mother, Colleen, may also be able to provide important insight into what led her son to kill 12 innocent people, including a police officer, and then take his own life. I also want to mention that they did this memorial a year after the massacre at Conejo Creek Park, which is called the Healing Garden. The Healing Garden Project has added several elements to Conejo Creek North. There are 12 granite boulders which have been added to the stage beneath the Lakeside Pavilion to your right there. There are 12 bubbling jets which have been added to the pool. And a new garden and plaza area has been added to the southern edge of the pool. As you enter the garden and plaza area, you'll see a large boulder with a plaque welcoming you with words written by the staff of our local newspaper. In the garden are 12 granite benches dedicated to the memory of the 12 lives taken at the borderline. These uh, mass shootings just keep on happening all the time to the point where I'm just I'm not even surprised anymore, man, you know? Just more innocent people dying for no fucking reason, dude. I don't know. I wish I had the power to just, you know, just make a stop and I just I just wish that it didn't happen anymore. But like I said, it happens way too often. Yeah, but again, let me know what you guys think about this one. Let's move on to the last call. September 1st, 2015 in Twinsburg, Ohio. A woman who identified herself as Kelly calls 911 and tells the dispatcher that her father-in-law had just shot her husband. Let's take a listen to the call. Shot! 911. I need an ambulance at 2425 Sherwin Drive. My husband's been shot twice. Your your son has been shot? Your husband, get the cops here. Okay, uh, stay on the line. Can you stay on the line Please, with me? he's passing out. I don't know what's going on. What part of his body is shot? I know his arm. Two, four, two, five, where four, one. Where else I'm simulcasting. He doesn't know where else he shot him. Attention, fire department response. Please, he's wound. Like... 2425 Sherwin Drive. 2425 Sherwin Drive. Police are en route, 10 on 17 I need, I need a man. Please. Okay, do you know who shot him? His father. Is the father still there? He's sitting here with a gun in his hand. What kind of a gun? Long gun, short gun? Give me that, Dad. He's not, he won't give it the to me. The assailant is still on scene. He's sitting it's in a, a chair. It's a family related. He still has the gun. What is your first name? My name's Kelly. Kelly, can you get everyone out of the house? Is that possible? Yeah. How about your... How about your husband? Is he able to He's get out of the house? He's laying on the pavement out front where my father-in-law is. Mom. Dad shot Scott twice. He shot him. Get out of the house. Bring your blanket. We need to get out of the house for our state. Okay, what is your father's name, Kelly? Charles. Charles Shaw? Yes. How old is he? Do you know? 70. He's in his 70s? Okay. Is everybody out of the house besides him? Scott. Are you with Are you with your husband right My now? Husband's not breathing. Hurry up. Mommy. Okay, I'm going to tell you what. Okay, I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay. Hurry. All right, I'm going to tell you right now what to do. Okay, he's he's not breathing. No, and he's not bleeding out of that spot. He's just gasping for air. Okay. Scott. Lay him flat on his back. He's on his back. Okay, remove anything from underneath his head. Um, there's nothing underneath his head. Okay, now place your hand on his forehead. And put your other hand under his neck and tilt the head back. Is your father in the house? Does he have a long gun or shotgun? Uh, it's a pistol. It's a pistol? And you don't know where he is now? No, I don't. Please, What's he wearing? Dying. Okay, I want you to put your ear next to his mouth. Can you feel any breath coming no. out? Okay, I'm going to tell you how to do mouth to mouth. Okay, give two soft puffs of air into his no, into his mouth. Pinch his nose closed. Okay. 
Did you feel the air going in and out? Yes, he just gasped. Okay, that's good. He may vomit a little bit. If he does, shut his head and clean it out. God, please get somebody here. Okay, they're on their way. I'm going to tell you how to do chest compressions now, okay? Wait a minute. I need him. Okay, are you there with him? I'm going to tell you how to do chest compressions. How do I do that? Okay, I want you to put your, do you know where the center bone is in his chest? The center bone, yes. Put the heel of one hand on there and put your other hand interlaced with it. I'm going to tell you, I want you to pump the chest hard and fast 30 times. I want you to pump it down at least two inches into his chest. 38, go ahead. Do 30, count to 30, Kelly. 30. Did you do 30 already? Yes. Okay, with your hand under his neck, pinch his nose close and tilt his head back again. Give two more regular breaths, and then we're going to go back to pumping the chest. He's, the air is just coming out. Now, wait a minute. He just lifted his head up. Okay. Don't let him get that. Don't let him get up. Do you know where your father is? Please, my husband is dying. He's behind there, sitting in a chair. My mother in law is over at the door. Hurry. TJ, come here. He's loading. Dad, put it down. Dad, dang, put the goddamn gun down. When police arrive to the home, they see 76-year-old Charles Robert Shaw, Kelly's father-in-law, standing over the body of his wounded son, 55-year-old Scott Robert Shaw. Police then noticed that he was reloading the gun and cocking the hammer. Officers told him to put down the gun several times, but Mr. Shaw did not comply and pointed the gun at officers. That's when he was shot and killed by police. Oh my god. 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 
and the son, Scott Robert Shaw, was pronounced dead at the scene. Now, according to the Bureau of Criminal Investigation, the dad, Charles Robert Shaw, was angry at a clinic that he went to and also had issues with his medications. The preliminary report says, Investigators were evidently told Charles grabbed a rifle and a handgun, saying he was going to Cleveland Clinic with plans to do some damage. At that point, Scott stepped in and attempt to stop his father. And the two were involved in an altercation that led to Charles shooting and killing his own son. Man, I can't even imagine shooting your own son. I mean, I don't have any kids, but that's just, it's just so sad and crazy, man. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. I definitely feel bad for this whole family, man. May the husband rest in peace. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I know I sound like a broken record, but uh, it really, really means a lot to me that you guys watch. It also took me a minute to get this video done because, man, I don't know, but I've had a hard effing time getting some sleep. And uh, <laughs> I feel like I always go through this cycle of me having a difficult time when it comes to getting that good sleep, deep sleep. So yeah, I was really struggling with that. I don't know, man, I feel like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but maybe you guys can relate. You know, you're laying in your bed and it's time to, uh, you know, get some sleep. And uh, your mind doesn't shut the F up. It's just, it's just going and going and it's just, what are you gonna do tomorrow? Did you do that thing? Hey, did you pay that bill? Did you really pay that bill? Are you sure? Did you do it? It just goes and goes and goes and goes and it doesn't shut up. And it's just like, come on, man. We gotta get some sleep. Shut up, go to sleep. <laughs> but what's kind of funny is that um, even when you do get some sleep, your mind is still going for some reason. It's just it's your mind never shuts off which is again fascinating but yeah that's why it took me a minute to get this done man i, I tried i really did but um uh, i'll for sure see you guys next week and one more thing um with the last video that i did um man you guys were so nice and kind and i'm so glad and proud of this community that I don't know. I, I don't know if I built this community or just you guys are just a bunch of great people, man. Great subscribers, great supporters. And again, I can't thank you guys enough. But uh, usually when I read uh, comments or when I reply to comments, I do it on my lunch. And uh, yeah, I was going through your guys' comments. Dude. You guys almost, I mean, my eyes got watery because I was just feeling the love and uh, I kept telling myself like, don't cry, dude, you're at work. You're on your lunch. You don't want to cry at lunch, at work. <laughs> so um, yeah, again, thank you. You guys are fucking amazing, you know? Oh, and if you're a member or a patron, thank you guys so much because my last three videos got demonetized and uh, just real quick, um. You know, I, I could make these uh, videos squeaky clean, but, you know, I could use nothing but, you know, stock photos and stock video and just keep it clean. And that way they won't get demonetized. But a lot of the times I feel that when I'm making these, you know, these kind of videos, I really want to keep it as real as possible because... You know, again, these are real people. These are real cases. And I hate that I have to use, you know, stock photos and stock video a lot of the times. So if I find police body cam footage or news footage or uh, real crime scene photos, I will use them even though I know that that video is going to get demonetized. But yeah, I hope that made sense. Again, these are real people, real cases and... I treat these people and these cases with the most respect possible because again, this is real. This, this happens all the time, but yeah, I don't know why YouTube 
does that. But yeah, I hope that made sense. And now I just personally want to thank the members and the patrons. Thank you to Jennifer Nettles. Sorry, I hope I didn't butcher your name, your last name. And uh, Michelle Perino or Perino, PLD1220. Queen G, Josie, and Nanya Biz. Thank you for being members of the channel. It means the world to me. And now to the patrons. Thank you to Cream of no, Cream of the Crop. Interesting name. The Marilyn Glazier, Baba Yaga, Tyron Horton, Jennifer Nutt, AM, Sylvia Buzanko, Triva M. Stewart, Marina, Christine Simmons, Peggy Darley, Karen Perez, Jesus is Lord. Terry Benson, Caroline Banana, and Karen Harris. And finally, Karen, again, thank you guys so much. I honestly can't even believe that I have uh, I have 17 patrons. That is insane. That's crazy. I don't know why. I, when I looked at it, I was like, what? Oh, no, man. It made me so happy and uh, almost made me like want to cry, dude. That's crazy. 17 patrons and three, four, six members. That's, that's crazy, man. Again, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to go back to editing and uh, hopefully I can get, <clears throat> get some sleep. Can't even speak anymore. Uh, thank you guys so much. And I'll for sure see you guys next week. And again, thank you for watching. Please, please take care. <clears throat> take care of yourselves. Yeah, love you. Bye. See you soon.